So for your book, Just In Case, where did you get the idea from? Well, I have a book, a previous book, Just A Minute, which, with the same character, and even though I never thought I was going to create another book with Señor Calavera, um, a few years ago, as we were in Mexico, my husband and I, uh, we were walking and I started telling him that sometimes I fantasize about the idea that if I were going to do another book about Señor Calavera, what it would be about. And I always thought that Señor Calavera doesn't have a lot of experience when it comes to celebrating life, when it comes to celebrating birthdays. So if he was going to come back, as in the last uh, picture book, he promises Grandma Bill, his friend, that he will be back next year. Uh, so the book probably would be about him keeping that promise and coming back, but will he know what to do? Mm -hmm. Will he know that when you come to a birthday party, you are supposed to bring a present? And how will he know how to choose what would be a good present? Because obviously he has not much experience about that. And in doing in, during that process, and just talking by my, with my husband about it, um, I, I, actually I got very enthusiastic about the possibilities and what eventually became uh, just in case. So why did you choose to use the alphabet? The alphabet, because yeah. first because the first book was a concept book as well. It was a counting book. So, following with the same pattern, if I were going to tell a story about Señor Calavera, we would probably be learning something, a new concept this time, and this time the concept was the alphabet. And also it was perfect because uh, it allowed me this big list of things that he could look for that gave me an opportunity to give um, um, uh, an insight of, of what is the Spanish language and what it's like to celebrate in Spanish and what it's like to create this presence inspired in the Spanish language and just by choosing one percent of, of, uh, from every letter of the alphabet. And I love doing that because it gave me the opportunity to bring words and images and concepts that I love myself. So why did you choose um, the character of Senor Caraveta? He's like, he's like from the, the Day of the Dead, and it's like, That's right. you know, in a Western society, the death is typically very morbid, and it's not typically used for children. It is true. It's so true. why the character? Well, when I first created the character of Senor Calavera, I was, I was with my first book, Just uh, a Minute, and I, I made that book uh, when I was in, uh, trying to learn how to create children's books. I was taking a picture, a class for learning how to create pictures for a picture book. Um, and our teacher gave us an assignment. She said we were going to make a concept book. It could be a counting book, it could be an alphabet book. Um, so we, we could choose and I thought I'm going to make a picture, uh, a counting book, but what to count? And I have always loved the folk tales from my country and especially the trickster tales when very ordinary people like you and I can defeat extraordinary beings, in, in this case, death. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to have a dead, a representation of that, which is a skeleton, and who will be fit to, you know, have this tension with that and have a, uh, because the story is about that, it's about who is going to win, you know, in this, in this story, you know, in a way. Um, and I thought that a grandmother would be just right. Um, but Senor Calavera does come from the idea, like you say, of the skeletons of the day of the dead. So I, I instead of having this morbid image of, of what that is like, uh, I brought it actually from the playful side of our Mexican celebrations, where people and children and everybody who celebrates the Day of the Dead choose to play with that for, for a little while. And that becomes a candy, and that becomes a toy. Señor Calavera, to me, he's made out of sugar, just like the sugar skulls in the celebration of the Day of the Dead in Mexico. And his decorations, they are all sugary and, and candied. And that's, that's exactly where, where he comes from. That's what it means to me. It's great. Yeah. So um, why do you choose to write children's books and not other genres or for other audiences? Because I'm in love with them. <laughs> because children's books are, are everything. They are entertaining, they are beautiful, they are works of art. They allow you this mixture of, of many different arts, like, like the arts of the language and the words. At the same time, it allows you to create art for them to, to add meaning to the story because they tell stories and because you can learn anything you want from a children anything you want to know, just go to the library and you find a book that will tell you how to do it, how to go with it, how to find it. Children's books do all of that and I'm in love with them. I, that's what I 
that's, that's what I want to be doing. That's great. So what were your experiences with libraries like as a child? I didn't go to the libraries. I grew up in Mexico. I did not know that libraries existed, and they did exist in my country. They are not what they are here in the United States, so although people are working on it. When I was growing up, um, I did not have experience with libraries or with children's books or, or any of that. I got to know uh, the children's section of the book that of the, of the public library for the first time when I was about 25 years old and I came to the United States and I saw it and I knew that's what I, that's what I wanted to be. So, so do you think it's important for parents to introduce their children to libraries? Absolutely. You know, because in the libraries you're going to find and through the books, you're going to find the answers to everything you want to know. Like if you want to know about yourself, if you want to know what's your powers and what's your strength and, and, and how to work that, how to find yourself, you always will find it in a book. And when you do it with your own child, if you, if you are taking your child through that journey, you are also forming a, a bond and a connection that, that will never disappear. Parents who are connected to their children through books um, I have a strong bond, and, and I, I would just recommend it to anybody. There is so much to learn through the books and the libraries. That's great. Um, so what do you think that children can get out of libraries that they can't get elsewhere? Well, like that, they can find themselves. They can find themselves through the stories. They can find their own uh, sense of being brave, their own sense of being vulnerable. Uh, through stories, we recreate our own life and, and also we understand our life as, a, as something that, that we create ourselves, that is a form of art and, and, and through the books we go through those journeys and things that we need to learn and we do it through characters um, and, and we live inside those books. I think that if, if you want to grow, go to a library. Mm, that's great. Thank you so much for Thank your time you. with us.